dictators die, and the power they took from the people will return to the people. Return to the people. Hey, what's up, guys? Just another quick video. Just got something in the mail, and I just wanted to show everybody. I'm sure everybody's aware of the 20 for 20 series, so let's just get started. So the first one in the series. It's a bunch of maple leaves. I think this was 200,000 mintage, and the rest are a quarter million mintage. So then we had the second one, which is a canoe, which is one of the more popular of the 20 for 20 series. For those who aren't familiar, the 20 for 20 series is released by the Royal Canadian Mint. You exchange $20 bill, and you get a $20 face value quarter ounce of silver in return. So here's the most popular one so far is the Polar Bear. It's selling for usually double the price. Also, they had a farewell to the penny, which is right there. And they also had the queen. This was for, I can't recall. Oh, there we go, the diamond jubilee. So the queen mum, this is the least favorable out of the whole set so far. Not too many people like double queens on their coins or whatever. And this one's kind of cartoony, which is actually cool. This was released for Christmas, which is a, you know, it's a cartoon-esque reindeer. That was kind of unique as well, though. And then, of course, we had the hockey, which was the last. Up until now, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let me bring to you the newest of the 20 for 20 series. This is the Timberwolf. Oh! So this one, in my opinion, looks looks like one of the best in the series. It'll probably probably do very well in the aftermarket, just the fact that it's a wolf, and usually wolves in general just sell for a higher premium than most. Some people were complaining about the artwork on it, but to be honest with you, it looks rather nice. It's kind of a stare, he kind of, in still pictures, it kind of looks like he's a depressed wolf, but you know what, when you get it in the hand, it's hard to tell. It's a lot of detail, looks nice though. So that is the newest in the series, and uh, if you don't get it, get it soon because I am almost guaranteeing you this one will probably sell out faster than most. I try to pick up six myself. Tell me, well, actually I can't really pop it off and show you the back, but it's going to have the reverse of the queen on the back, obviously. So that brings up my set. Let me just show you fast. I got a bunch of these things. I don't know, I got like 30 or 40 of them. This isn't even all of them. This is just some to take out to show y'all. So pretty cool. It's a good little set to have and you don't lose a single penny on this because like I said the face value is 20 for 20 so you're at no loss if you want to get rid of it. It's legal tender, you can bring it back to the banks or whatever but you don't really need to. You probably sell these on eBay for double the price of what you purchased them for. Anyways guys, I just wanted to show you the newest in the series once again that is the Wolf. Here I'll just show you the pamphlet fast as well. It comes like this and they switched to the, this used to be the older pamphlet, they used to be way larger in size so now. I guess they're trying to do the environment a little favor by saving some cardboard and all that stuff. So that's it in a nutshell. That's the new one. So new design, new pamphlets, everything's cool. On the inside there's little little uh, specifications of the coin and all that jazz. So there you have it. The new Wolf 20 for 20. A must have for all 20 for 20 fans. Anyways guys, take care, and uh, see you on the next video. Cheers.